It's high drama even from a bird's eye view. Shortly after 1230 on the north side of Flint, as police surrounded this house, responding to a call that gunshots had been fired in broad daylight as officers patrolled nearby. Four troopers doing foot patrol in the city of Flint. Uh, as they're doing their foot patrol, they hear gunshots ring out. They turn towards the gunshots, and to my left, you see the red house. They see a man running into this house. And it was at that house that police arrested this man. Seen here in the back of the cruiser, moments after a woman who identified herself as a relative arrived, saying she just wanted to make sure that he was okay. I just okay. wanted to make sure my nephew was okay, that's all. I just want to make sure ain't nobody in that house dead and make sure he's okay. The 23-year-old suspect told police what led to triggered the chaos. He admits to having a handgun and just firing rounds, test firing his gun uh, in close proximity to the troops. Throughout the one-hour ordeal, neighbors took cover, feeling like their community was once again coming under attack. Curry Wood says that's nothing new. I hear shots all the time. I dodge them last three years and I see my neighbor here coming out in the middle of the street I hear voices and like an argument and then I see them got someone down on the ground pulling ground, uh, guns and I thought someone was hit but actually I guess they weren't, they weren't and then they had to stand off. While police did question two people here at this house however only one the gentleman that you saw in our video was handcuffed and taken to jail. Reporting in Flint live Ronnie Duncan WNEM TV5. Wow, Ronnie, thank you. Police say nobody was injured throughout the entire ordeal.